Hello and a very good evening. Welcome along to Crafters TV. It's Friday evening. Well, I say it's Friday evening. It's Friday evening here. Uh, the weekend is... Well, officially launched, I always think five o'clock on a Friday, it's the weekend. So we'll call it the start of the weekend, final day of September, of course. And yes, we are officially, Jamie, launching the weekend. Your weekend starts right here. Um, that was matey, wasn't it, off the uh, X Factor, Dermot O'Leary. Um, yeah, not my thing, that was his thing. Uh, one o'clock, of course, just gone Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, so good afternoon, good morning. Welcome along to Crafters TV. I've got lots of exciting stuff to tell you about, um, which you need to know about, which you might already know about, but if you don't, I'll tell you. Uh, and we are here with a masterclass as well. Masterclass all about taking a particular product or perhaps a, a particular type of um, crafting and kind of giving you all of the information and demonstration that you need. It's a great show to get in touch and ask any questions should you wish to and over the course of this show we are going to be concentrating on your edible dyes so if you have any collections that you are perhaps um struggling to kind of get creative with ask the questions uh, maybe you're going to see some collections on this show that you haven't got uh, and you're thinking oh i'd quite like those but ask a question or uh, maybe you've got some of the collections tonight already and uh, you haven't yet got them out of the packet hopefully we're going to give you some uh, information and inspiration over the course of the next couple of hours i'll hold back on my announcements very shortly i'll do those but first of all let us welcome the lady who's going to be leading this master class um, she has been working hard today smashing it out of the park with her demonstrations the one and only corinne robinson how are you Thank you. Yes, I had my tea, I had a couple of cups of tea, and Ooh. now I'm ready to go what again. What do you have for tea? What do you have to do? I had couscous salad with um, sm with some salmon on top. Oh, that sounds lush. It's nice. I made it yesterday. Oh, it sounds yeah. very healthy as well. It was. Did follow it up with a Twix. Oh, right. Yeah, you've got to balance <laughs> it out, haven't you? You know, if you're going to be healthy. It's all about the balance. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. Uh, yeah. What have we got coming out? Right, it's all about, as you said, the edibles. So our concept for today is edibles. We've got some really lovely um, edibles. We've got our grande edibles. We've got our timeless edibles. We've got some words. We've got our curved sentiments. There are so many different edibles. Crafters Companion do um, edibles so well. It's one of the things that they are so known for. So, you know, you're going to be able to find lots and lots of different ways. The first one we're going to demonstrate with, and one I'm going to show you the demos, uh, some samples for now, is our Grande edibles. So, these are ones that give you, let me see if I can find one that's sort of true to concept, just like this. So, there we go. We can have it as a gorgeous edible all the way down the side of our card. And here we've just given it a little bit of a black drop shadow which I think is lovely because it really just sort of mm. makes it pop isn't that absolutely cool oh, no it's plain under there but there with the pretty paper now so that is our first one so you can see on there but if you wanted to you could also as we showed you in wake up calls morning, oh yeah that's what I made in wake up call we could have it across the middle and across the top so it doesn't have to be down the side actually that would turn that way really Either well way, if, yeah. you put, if you put the sentiment differently but you can see how versatile they are and the other thing they do is they cut through both layers of your card at the same time if you wanted to so on this one we folded our card into its position and then cut through the two layers at once and then added just the minimalist drop shadow on there you can just about see that that is absolutely beautiful then we can start thinking about how to take it out of there so yet they're still down the edge that way even there we go balloon flowers the balloon flowers exactly on there so we can have them top and bottom so we've cut it out of the top piece of card and then cut it again and put it together as a floating card on our acetate now i love this concept so we've then got it top and bottom on Ooh. here so we've got it cut twice onto this piece of card and then we've also got it onto the bottom let me tilt that so you can see it of our easel card as well so that's a lovely way to do it so you can see so many different ways really gorgeous and then the final one i was going to show you now is how about having it as the edge to your z fold how lovely is that what you're looking for just that um the little sentiment with the flower looks a bit like a pineapple does it look like a pineapple does mm. it oh that's not maybe not what i thought but yeah that's yeah. very good and there you go so we could have them like that and this is what you were saying earlier how lovely these flowers are because you can actually lift them they cut in but then they lift up just like that did you and i um i want to say so we, remember when we did that craft along yeah and i did that well we did that amazing card i'm not describing this very well 
But um, did we use these on that on that craft log? I'm sure that was edibles because it it had like the it had the the strip on the top yes, and the strip did, for the stopper and the strip on the bottom. I mean, was it the, I'm sure it was these. It was, was something now very you said similar. It, and that we used. Did we not did we not use the Enchanted Dreams paper pad? I think we did. Yes, yes we did. We did, didn't we? We yes. used Enchanted Dreams, yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. But you might not have the Enchanted Dreams. You could no. have maybe other paper pads. Yeah, well, if you need paper pads, you have, I like that, you have come to the right place <laughs> because we've gone absolutely crazy. Roll up, roll up, come and get your paper pads. Uh, paper pads uh, <laughs> are on unbelievable deals, right? When I say paper pads, I mean all, pretty much all of our paper pads. Um, on, well, I'll tell you in a second. Let me say a, a few hellos first of all. Uh, Sarah Brown is in, watching from Melbourne, Australia. It's 3 a.m. Go to sleep, Sarah. Go to sleep. I can't sleep, so I thought I would come in and join the fun, sending hugs to everyone from me. I mean, in the nicest possible way, I hope we send you to sleep. Yes. Um, Rosalind is back for the final crafty event for the day from Maryland. Georgianne Curley is in from Clearwater. Barbara Rostovsky is in from Indiana. Kate says, hi everyone from the San Francisco area. I hope you're all enjoying Friday. Saturday for those in Australia and environ. Environ? Environ? Environ. Environs. Um, the surrounding areas. What, and was the that? what was that word? En environs. E-N-V-I-R-O-N-S. I know it from the French. Environ is like um, roundabouts, isn't it? E-C-A ah. environ provinces the environment the local area gilmore says hello ben corin susie um cc team and crafty peeps hooray for friday whoop, whoop. we have got uh, jamie and charlotte in the gallery Oi, oi, hello. Uh, and we've got Jake with us as well. Um, Zoe says, hi to everyone from a rainy West Sussex. Hello to Crystal H. Hi from Texas. I know Ben was dancing to the music. Did you catch me? <laughs> <laughs> hi to Mary Reno from Maine. Hi to Mary Pat 1000. Hi to Fred 171. Hi to Roseanne Carbone. He says hello from Massachusetts to Corinne. It's Sir Ben. The awesome crew and all my crafty friends. Hi to Michelle Chernenko from Michigan. Lillian Kwok has joined us. It's winter, it's only 6pm and I've had to put the lights on, says Lillian. Yeah, I know, it gets dark, isn't it? It's here. And Terry's going, he's here. He's here, mate, isn't he? He's here, it's depressing, mate. Uh, Evelyn says hello from Colorado. Hi to Kathy from Missouri. And Shelley White says hello from Orlando. Uh, we made it through the storm with minimal damage, just no power. We are lucky. Sending our love and thoughts to everybody um, over in Florida who've been um, caught in that uh, in that devastating weather uh, and also Gilmore says yes Ben um, I did it with you and Corinne the craft along the grande edibles Ben we also made flowers with the enchanted dreams paper there you go I knew yeah. that I, I'd done it it was it was it was the memory of you Gilmore that's what it was that reminded me that I'd done it and then it was the dyes and then the papers and Corinne and there we go and talking of papers what what is this bundle you cry? Why has you got a load of paper pads here? Well, in case you didn't know, we have officially gone bonkers. What we're doing only until uh, midnight, wherever you are, is we're giving you three for two on our paper pads. Now, why are we doing this? I th I think we're celebrating the end of September, the start of October, the fact it's the weekend. I mean, you pick and choose the reason we're doing it, but this is like this is one of those deals that you would expect to see on birthday. This is one of the deals you'd expect to see us do maybe on like a crafter's anniversary. Why are we doing it on Friday the September the 30th? I don't know, but don't worry. Hit the Shop the Day page at the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu, and you will see, you have to scroll down a little bit because this is only added sort of around about midday today. Scroll down, and from literally the bottom of page one to page two, page three, you're gonna see a whole host of three for twos on paper pads, on card pads, on vellum, and across all ranges. I'm talking Hunky Dory, I'm talking Violet Studio, I'm talking Sharon Callis, uh, I'm talking Sarah's Signature. What I've got for you here is just a selection of what you might decide to put in your three for two. We've got the luxury card pad from Frosty and Bright. We've got the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad collection from the Frosty and Bright collection. We have also got Country Lane. All of these are in there. That might be your three for two. You can mix and match across the whole range, or if you decided, I love that Country Lane collection, I want three of them, you can go one, two, three, and you'll only pay for two. But let me just show you some of the others that you've got here. Roll up, roll up. We got vintage butterflies 12 by 12 we got frosty and bright in there winter's tail you want that we got that too roll up roll up this is the one that we launched at the end of july uh, and was i mean literally you could be getting this for free you could go that one vintage snowman uh winter solstice 
And you, you'll get one of those for free. And we made a point of saying this earlier on, and I'll say it again. There are some of the smaller paper pads available for you, and the ones that you use for your iris folding, don't pop one of those in your three for two because Not you get the cheapest you're three one. Of those. Unless you're buying three of those. Don't go two of these in an iris folding because then you'll only save a few quid. Go for three 12 by 12s and you'll save yourself, what, 14 99 15 99 Those are all in there. And you'll see, I'm just going through these randomly, but we've got like full on collections here vintage snowman, luxury cardstock, winter sparkle, luxury cardstock, sunflower in the 12 by 12. We've got kindly thoughts vellum. We've got the Bethlehem collection in the A4. We've got secret garden. We've got nitwit. The nitwit's kindly thoughts and the home body collection. This is, I think this is my favourite one because it's got the toppers in there. Pages and pages and pages of toppers. You could decide to go 12 by 12 nitwit homebody uh, a4 pearlescent car pack nitwit homebody uh, 12 by 12 topper pad buy two uh, you're getting the um the third one there for free buy three for two on all of these across multiple collections sunflower in there as well we've got vellum we've got cardstock we've got paper do not miss out on this deal if you've not yet i heard who is it earlier on i can't remember but somebody uh, bought 30 Somebody bought 30 paper pads, uh, taking the three for two uh, to the next level. But these are all there for you. We've got a three for two as well on your glue pens. That is a separate three for two. You can't mix and match the glue and the paper, but you've got a three for two on those so you can add into your basket uh, three of the um, 0 0.7 mil ballpoint glue pens and get um, three for two. You can also do it on the three pen set where you get the different size nibs. You can mix and match those up. And of course, we've got our end of summer sale as well where you can get up to 70% off a whole range of items. But summer sale ends midnight on the second this deal with all of the three for twos ends midnight tomorrow right few more allows then we'll crack on hi to heather from ohio uh, hi to crafty angie from california marit roseth joins us from norway gilmore says lol ben you're an enabler that is my job um thanks ben for picking me to win your beautiful card says kathy you're welcome hopefully you join me on my little facebook live uh, and sarah brown says don't worry ben i'm sure you will send me to sleep <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way, so apologies in advance. I have you on in the background. Uh, ben, a lullaby might be fun. Can you sing me to sleep, says Sarah Brown. She don't want me to sing it to sleep. Don't, don't know any, I don't know if I know any lullabies. Um, do, do, what's the one that goes? Do, 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 oh, do, Brahms do, lullaby. Do, 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 <laughs> Here's the boards for the grande edge of dice. <laughs> Sarah Brown, go to sleep in Australia. Shh. Everyone keep it down. Not a chance. <laughs> She's awake now, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. uh, the, so this is the... <laughs> This is the full, I can't believe, literally you go, can you sing me a lullaby and I do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> can I have a five of Ben, please? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> if I carried cash, I probably would, but I don't anymore. Um, so, Ooh, what? It's like royalty. No, but who can, I, do I you? Know, no. do you? I usually have a little bit, not much, mm. just in case. Just uh, some coinage for like the trolley at the supermarket. Or, or the, the egg man in the vi on a Saturday. I'm a toilet roll man. Egg man. <laughs> no, but you've got the toilet roll man as well. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> Have you got an egg man? Yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> There's a man that has a stall in our village every Saturday morning selling egg, eggs, honey and marmalade. Eggs for your marmalade? Eggs, honey and oh. marmalade. <laughs> Charlotte has gone. <laughs> Carrie's gone, give some coinage for the egg van. Charlotte's just gone, oh, it's so middle class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, but you've got to support your local businesses, haven't you? Buy, support local. Support, buy local. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it be <laughs> eggs, eggs, honey, marmalade or toilet rolls. rolls. <laughs> I do bag transfer for the toilet rolls. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Crafty Angie says, who's running the show? I've no idea. No, uh, should be Jamie, but hey -o. <sighs> Right, the Grand Ageable dies. These, I think these are on a, I've lost my notes, but these are on a buy three, get three, I'm sure, um, or something equivalent. 
It is yes. a half price Look, steel, isn't it? Half yeah, it is. 77 is 38. Yeah. yeah, it is. So it's buy three, get three. Uh, so you're getting your uh, your daisy lace within this collection. And as Karen's already said, you know what? These will cut straight through. So if you want to be able to, uh, you know, go straight through your cardstock and create that beautiful edgeable effect all the way through, you can do. Lots of paper piecing opportunities, uh, you know, lots of opportunity to um, you know, pop these onto your acetate, maybe do some colouring behind these as well. Those balloon flowers, phenomenal. I'll tell you the story again about the balloon flowers, uh, which I always do. I'll try not to repeat myself. You've then got the, uh, the gingham in there too. Then you've got your elegant trellis and your chasing dragonflies is the final two within this set. It's a really great opportunity to pick up some of our edgeable technology if you've never bought it before. £31.18 platinum or $35.88 if you're shopping in the US and you are a platinum member. Thank you for all of the love coming through for the, uh, the lullaby. Um, I am now going to hand over to uh, Corinne who is not going to send you to sleep with this next demo. Uh, yep. After this, I'm sure you're going to be wide awake. Excellent. Right, we're going to use the Rose Garden die. So this is absolutely beautiful. So you've got the, the gorgeous detail. Now, when you look at this die, you will see that there is a cutting blade down this side, but there is no cutting blade on this side. So this side will cut into your card. So that's what you'll see with an edgeable. With an edgeable, there's always one side that will cut out and one side that will cut in, and that's the key. So I've got a piece of cardstock, and I'm not put butting it up to the edge, and you'll see why in a minute. So this is five and a half by seven and a quarter. So I've just gone seven and a quarter so that the die laps over. I've just done myself an extra inch. Can you, there you go, you can see I've just scored it along there. And so I'm gonna put this. Now I'm gonna use this, so that's why I've not run right up to the edge. We're going to use this. And then I've got a nice panel there. Now I do need my magnetic shim because this is a detailed die, so we need to make sure it's got a little bit of pressure. If you're struggling, maybe you want some of these, you might need to go in with your metal shim, just to cut into your metal shim, just to give it a little bit. I found that these have been cutting absolutely perfect. My machine's got the right amount of pressure, but maybe if your machine's a little bit older and the pressure isn't you know, as strong, then maybe put your metal shim mm. underneath just to give it a little bit more oomph. Oomph so, is a good oomph. word, yeah. yeah. So there we go. So now that's cut that piece off the bottom. Well, nearly, because it hasn't quite gone all the way around, but there we go. So because it's not quite gone right to the edge, I'm going to just do a little snip there to take that away. Uh -huh. There you go. And you can see, look at that. Now this could be whichever way you want that to be. So it can go like that, across there, it could be going down there. Now I want this piece here. So I don't need these little bits at the side. Those are the bits I don't need. But I do want this piece that fits in there. Can you see it fits there? So we're just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to separate those out. We're actually going to turn it around and separate them out very slightly. So what I want to do next is I thought would do a little bit of paper piecing. Oh yes, lovely. So we're not going to paper piece the whole thing. Don't worry. It's not one of those where you've got to sit and paper piece it all. Right. So what we need to do is I have got some lovely sort of gold, matte gold cards. I was just about to say, this is where the hold and release sheets would come into hold play. Hold and release. Yep. Perfect. So cards. So this is tacky. If anybody's not seen hold and release sheets, this, this is just a carrier. This isn't meant to transfer the adhesive anywhere. It's not meant to be used to stick anything down. All it's done is it's a carrier. So it's a bit thicker than normal card. So I'm just going to get my regular card and I'm going to put my regular card on top of my hold and release sheet. They're like hold that. and release sheets. Yeah. They're in the three for two. I, yep, you saw that. Mm. Now I can then put my die on the top and it, it can go anywhere on there because all I'm doing with the um, hold, all I'm doing now is wanting to cut everything out. Now, if I'd have cut this out, can you, uh, if you saw, we had bits all over the place when we cut the black out. Mm. We don't want that because we want to know where the bits go back in. So that's what I'm aiming for. So what's going to happen here is we're going to cut into the gold card, well, through the gold card and into the hold and release sheet. Now, as we were saying, your Gemini is really strong pressure. So don't use your magnetic shim because what we're trying to do is take off a bit of the pressure. We don't want it to cut as well as it could. Yeah. If we put the magnetic shim, it would just cut into the gold and through the hold and release. And that's not what we want. We want all the pieces to stay where they are. And this is what these hold and release sheets. If you've ever done paper piecing and you found it quite tiresome and you thought, oh, it's not for me. Now look at that. I can see, if you see, there's marks on there. It's marked. You can just about see marks. 
but it's not cut into it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh -huh. Okay? So if we take the die off, I'm just doing it right now, a couple of the little bits have started to lift, but not, but the ones that we want are all staying. Right, I'm, I'm paper piecing these flowers. If I, these are the little pieces that come out, I could have just poked them in, but that's not a problem because I don't need them. So what I'm going to do to make life easier is I'm going to lift this and I'm going to lift that. So these are the pieces I want. Now, the only reason I'm lifting this is because it's going to make picking up the pieces I want even easier. You can leave this piece on, but I just find it makes it makes just releasing the pieces I want that bit easier. Yeah. There we go. So we can take that. Now, if you do it carefully, like I've just done here, and I just snipped that piece there, and I snip that piece there to release it, I've now got another panel. Oh, yeah. Another panel that can be used any time. Because I've, I've just released that really carefully. Well, it didn't take many seconds, did it? But I've released it carefully. I could even use that as a drop shadow if I wanted, however you wanted. But that's just there for there. So what we've got now is we've got all these pieces to go in there and they're where they need to yes. be and that's the key. It's a difference maker, isn't it? The it people really who is. find paper piece in a path. Yeah. So if I was paper piece, I couldn't paper piece in here because it's going to go straight through. So I'm going to paper piece onto a piece of acetate. Okay. So let's put some tape on my acetate. Ooh. Let's make sure I've got it the right way round. So I've what glue would you use then for your paper piecing? Tacky. Oh, okay. Just regular tacky glue. Yeah. Nothing fancy. So I can put that up there, yep. like that. Then I'm going to get the, just a bit of belt and braces, and then I'm going to put a piece. <laughs> I've not heard that expression for a while. Haven't you? Belt and braces. Belt and braces. Aye. So that's going to go just there. I'm just going to smooth that down. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get my dotty tape pen, and I'm just going to go over the back of here, so that when we put the acetate behind, it sits nice and flat because that's actually going to make your paper piecing look even better. So let's put plenty on there so it works. There we are. Right. So now I need, what I need to do is I just need to bring in, I've actually cut myself a piece for the back of my card, which is going to be there. Uh -huh. So I, what I need to do is I need to put my acetate just where I need it to be, yep. because I don't want my acetate to be too long. It's just going to help me with my positioning. So I can put that on there. Then I can take, all I'm going to, oh, all I'm going to do is take that piece off there. Turn, oops, come on. Put that back on, no, didn't catch in the right place. Let me just lift that one up, turn that around. That's not sticking it to the back yet, it's just holding it where we need it to be. So that's going to go to there. Don't stick down just yet. So that's caught that piece. And then I can release this one. You could take these two off at the same time, but it just meant I was trying to watch two pieces. Then when I put that down and smooth down there, that's caught. And then all of these little bits have caught just there. Yep. What we will do in a few minutes is we will also then stick this piece on the bottom okay we're not going to do that for a minute so what we've got now is we've got this and you can see you can see the acetate on there so all i need to do is bring this back in and uh -huh. look i can put that there yep and then i'm working straight to there so i tend to do about five at a time i don't know it's just it's just habit forming so i'm going to go one two yeah three four there you are five there we are and then I'm just going to pick up five of these. Three. <laughs> Sounds like there's, there's either a seagull on the roof or there's a rat running around. I thought it was you. It's not I me. I thought it was you. Can you? It sounds very, it sounds like this. It does. But it's not, it's up above me to me right. I hope it's a bird and not a rodent. Yeah. I hope it's outside. Oh, rodents do go up on roofs. It could they be a squirrel up, in the roof. Squirrel, might be a squirrel. I think or it's a... a um, what is it we had problems with back in Bucks? Um, gliss Gliss. Oh, what, what? Gliss Gliss. I have never heard of one of those. They're like bigger sort of squirrels. I'm sure that's what they were called. They were, I don't know if they're just native to Buckinghamshire. Gliss. 
There we go. So this, look this. at that. Could you see how easy that was? Mm. All I was doing was lifting from from the cardstock. That's actually going to be six there. Lifting from here. So all I'm doing is I'm using my pokey tool just to lift the corner because this is, like I say, low tack. Now, what you need to remember is no glue. Let me lift one of these up. No glue is transferred from the hold and release sheet onto there. So that is not tacky. That wasn't the purpose of the hold and release sheet. Yeah. The hold and release sheet is just to hold all these pieces. Can you imagine if all of these pieces and ended up on your craft desk and then you had to sort through them Oh. in order to um, to find the ones that you wanted. You'd just say life's too short and go on to do something else, wouldn't you? You just wouldn't finish it off. But how quick was that? Now I'm going to stop. Oops, sorry. I haven't put that one, took that one down. I was going to say, whatever it is that's on the roof is now up above me and it's freaking me out a bit. <laughs> it's there. It sounds like it's like stuck in the... Oh dear. It's in the conduit. It sounds, yeah, it does sound, it sounds like it's something that's got, like, oh, no, <laughs> it sounds, it does sound like, um... Can you hear like it scurrying? Screaming? Scurrying. Uh, it, yeah, more, like, more, it sounds more like four legs and two. Mm. That's not really good, really, is it? I, it's freaking me out a bit, actually. Hmm, I can imagine. John's gone. got home, so John, <laughs> John can't save you. It's not <laughs> it's John up on the roof, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I try right, to ignore it. So I'm not going to do it all, but look at that. Can you see the difference? Yes. And you've then filled in those gaps. Doesn't that look amazing? Now, if you wanted to, you could go a different colour on the leaves. I just wanted to highlight that bit there, which I thought was really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stick it onto the back of my card. You could have potentially done this as a single piece for your card, but then you get into something quite large and a bit unwieldy to go into your die cutting machine. But I just think it's really pretty. So when you paper piece, don't go thinking that you have to paper piece every, every bit single, yeah. of, of, your, of your project because mm, sometimes that's not the effect that you necessarily want. Less is more want. sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes it is. Let me just check. Oh, I've done that as a square. There we go. So we can put that up to there and then fold that down. So now I've got that piece there and then all I'm going to do next is take my border let's see if I've got one that's a little bit straighter there you go so we can then put that one on and I'm going to pop a piece of red liner tape along the bottom just there and then oh, there we go all I'm doing here when I rub the red liner tape red liner tape is absolutely brilliant but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get it off. Yeah, and yeah. I just find that sometimes if you just burnish it down, it just helps. So all we've done now is we've pulled that bit apart. You know what I mean? So we've just pulled it away from the bottom. So yeah. we've got that. But you can't really see it very well. So why don't we just put in some lovely papers in the back to really make that pop? There we go. Right. And we can just put some paper on the back. Michelle says, are these and dies the new ones that just came out? Um, I think I have them. These aren't new, new. No. Yeah, because we've already, we did the craft along with them and that must have been a little while couple back. of months ago, must be. Yeah, because craft along is usually a few weeks after the launch, yeah. isn't it? So they're, they're, they're this year. They're this year. They were early summer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's, they're not too old. So look at this. We said this is country, country lane, lane, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely beautiful. And I think somehow this works really well. This paper looks beautiful. I've seen it with black like this. And then this is our mink. Um, Centura Pearl. Pearl. We've got that on the show as well. Well, that might be why I used it. I think. It. I picked it on purpose because I just thought it looked yeah, really, have. really nice. So we're just going to carry on with that theme with that mink, with that country lane, just to mix and match it along here. So I can pop that one on there. Put that there, look. And then another piece. And I've just added little black um, liquid pearls into the corner. You often see a lot of, lot of liquid pearls on my cards that I 
oh, together. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, he says. Now, this one here, we've got another piece of the exact same mink, just put there, and I've just wrapped, just before we came, I've just wrapped a ribbon round, and then I put another piece of um, red liner on. Let's see if I can do it from there, there we go. Just to hold that. Just tied it with a, like a knot rather than a big bow, because I didn't think a bow was in keeping. And then I have got my sentiments here. We can then just put, we can put that. Loving or you could this. put it, no, yeah, I think it looks better up there. the top, yeah. It does, doesn't it? This is smashing, this is. So just to show you a different, different way to use those grand day edge balls, but you know, just showing you some of the other techniques. Yeah, you yeah. know, this is masterclass. This is about you've got some of your dies, and you know, it's not necessarily the first card you've ever made. Um, no. So we're, you know, we're you're, you've made a few. So I just thought I'd show you a couple of techniques. Now, of the edge balls, a lot of the edge balls that we've got on today's show, you could take elements of this card from. Not necessarily all of them, but you know, um, timeless borders. You could maybe take some some concepts from this and mix and match, you know. So it isn't just the grand day edgeables, but how about, let me put it back there so you can see. How about Perfect. just like that? I love, uh, exactly as you said, with the paper piecing, just like piecing individual Bits. elements, not the whole thing. It makes yeah. it stand out more, almost, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really clever. Um, the full collection is here. So it's a buy three, get three free deal, half price basically, £78, $90 for £38.97 or £44.85 if you're platinum, £31.18 or $35.88. All of these you're going to get within this collection. Um, I struggle with less is more. I tend to ask my daughter if I did too much, says Jessica. Um, Kathy, she says, what a beautiful card. Uh, and lots of chat about what's on the roof. Uh, Gilmore says, any minute, we're going to hear Ben scream like a girl. It's a twirly, swirly squaddle. <laughs> uh, Lillian Quack says, it's a spider. If it's a spider, I'm he's out got, of here. He's got his Doc Martin boots on, hasn't Yeah, he? literally. Wow. <laughs> he's got his... I don't know, yeah. Uh, if it's a spider, you won't see me. Um, I'll be gone. Uh, did Sarah store chocolate in the attic again, says Evelyn. Uh, Kilmore says, it's in the air vents, like in the movies. Oh, don't say that. Uh, and Fred says, any man with his own action figure would never scream like that. I I've got that in my bag, funnily enough. That, uh, <laughs> and it's not an action figure, is it, really? <laughs> Charlotte's gone, why do you carry it around with you? You never know when you might need your own... Uh, action figure, that's why. I'll Look, go get Charlotte, it if you had your own action figure, you would carry it round too. I, I promise you it would be in your handbag. Of course in, you would. It would be in the glove compartment of your car at least. Of course you would. That, you is, would. that is pretty showbiz, isn't it? That is pretty. No, you wouldn't, Charlotte. If you had your own action figure, you would not hide it away at all. I did have somebody, when I worked for my um, old radio station, a, a, a listener very kindly knitted um, a, a Ben. Well, I thought it was really nice, and I used to keep it like on the, on the side in the bedroom. Laura didn't like it, and she gave it to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? She was like, oh, well, you know, give it to Matt, because then he'll be able to snuggle up with you all night long. I'm like, you're just saying that to make you think it was sweet, and you've given my knitted self uh, <laughs> to Mac and now he's chewed it to pieces. Uh, that card is absolutely stunning, Corinne, says Mary Pat. Uh, Jackie Deschamps says, gorgeous card, Corinne. Uh, elegant card, Corinne, says Carletta Morris. Lovely to have you all here, guys. Mary says, such a gorgeous card, Corinne, I love it. Uh, and Carol Guy says, I should be getting the paper release, uh, the, the release paper this week and have to give this card a try, it's so pretty. Honestly, I would recommend this collection with the, um, um, the hold and release paper. Obviously, that's in the three for two. If you want to try paper piecing as well, um, and you've never yet done it, get box 50 of the craft kits because that is the paper um, piecing craft kit. It comes with hold and release paper, two dies, and then um, everything that you need to have a go with it. Obviously, you've got to get your cards and your uh, papers, and that is still in stock currently. It's the... Um, the kit that I had a go with, because I'd never done paper piecing, thought I'd give it a go, and I made uh, my Laura's birthday card out of it this year, and um, it was really easy. But the hold and release paper makes it so much simpler, because you don't lose the bits, as Corinne was demonstrating. Um, I just want to show you the paper library. So, slightly confusing, but not that confusing. The paper library isn't in the three for two deal that we're doing um, for today. This is on the end of summer sale deal, all right? Um, so there's 50% off here. The deal on this one, 
while stocks last will end midnight on the 2nd of October. So snap this up. It's been one of the most popular deals across the course of the event. And you can understand why. This is normally £90, $100, half price. Less than half price. If you're platinum, it's £36 or $39.98. You're obviously going to get the, um, the bag itself. And it's brilliant for the fact that actually inside it, not only have you got um, 150 sheets, 10 collections of paper, 15 sheets in each, but there's plenty of storage. If I just open that up, like the old accordion, then you've got plenty of space, as you can see in the back, to be able to pop in more of your sheets. You've got the tabs there as well, so you can slide in bits of paper to label them. So it may be that you have got... Um, bits and pieces of old paper pads that you want to be able to store, you can do that in all of the extra little compartments that you've got in here. But you've got pretty much something for all occasions in, in this collection. There's, I'll just show you a few of these. There's like a designated collection for Halloween. This is my favorite. I love autumn. And I, I love the Halloween season as well. I think it's um, fantastic, particularly you know, now the kids are interested in going out, doing trick or treating, getting dressed up and whatnot. So this collection right up my street, but you've got the Halloween collection in there. What else can I show you? You've got in here, uh, like St. Patrick's Day, for example. I know that's, um, well, it's obviously big in Ireland, but in uh, the US as well, I think uh, very big, isn't it, St. Patrick's Day? So you've got lots of uh, St. Patrick's Day themed papers in here too. Of course, a lot of these you can just you know use because they're beautiful green backgrounds, but that was the um, St. Patrick's Day theme that we've got within this collection. Show you a few more. I think across the uh, all the shows that we've done today, I've pretty much gone through all of them. We've got Christmas collections. There are two in here. So this one is your more sort of um, traditional Christmas, if you like, but we have got a um, contemporary Christmas as well, which is a little bit more of your sort of um, your, your whites and your ice blues in there, but really, really lovely. 15 sheets of the Christmas, plenty of snippability. You've got some tartan colours in there too, which sort of take you away a little bit from Christmas, should you wish. The new baby one was kind of cute. I'll show you that as well very quickly. Um, but again, lots of snippability here. And actually some papers that aren't necessarily just for new baby, you've got elephant and uh, little giraffes and um, lions in there. There's rainbows, blues and pinks, and also some neutral colours in there too, in case you're doing, uh, you know, maybe you don't know the gender of the baby, so that's all in there. Should I do one more? I'll do one more. I'll get out my next favourite, which is this one here. Celebrations! I think our US viewers are going to absolutely love this, because, as I say, this just reminds me of um, the US flag, the reds, whites and the blues, the stars and the stripes, and this is great for, you know, kind of your 4th of July cards, maybe your Thanksgiving cards, certainly for birthdays as well. How gorgeous is that one with the florals? You've got a really, really lovely mix in there. Bonfire night for our UK viewers with the fireworks, you know, New Year's Eve parties, that kind of thing. There's loads and loads of lovely papers in this collection, and actually, even with the Celebrations one, you've got some gorgeous gorgeous floral papers in there too. That is just one, two, three, four, five, five of the 10 collections that you're gonna get within the paper library. So 75 sheets, you're getting 150 sheets in total with your paper library. This has been flying out of the door. We'll continue to do so um, until the price goes back up again to where it should be after the 2nd of October. We of course do have the three for two on the website. We're gonna give you the opportunity to have a look at that in just a second and, um, and get that checked out. Um, Fred says the doll is for backup, lol. I'm going to go and get it in a minute just to, I haven't brought him on air for a while actually. And Jessica Stricker says, my daughter loves the paper library. She thinks the patterns and the quality are amazing. One of her top three items that I got her. Right, we are going to give you opportunity to get those baskets checked out. Any more comments, any more questions, any paper pad that you want to see particularly flick through, do let me know and we'll do that when we come back after this short intermission. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. 
you'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family there he is there he is hello <laughs> Fum on a roll, fum on a roll. It's in my bag. I, 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 don't, I don't keep him in the car, he's in the bag. Who knows when you might need your very own action figure to do a bit of social media for you. He's always in my bag, Charlotte. So whenever I go out with my bag, he's always with me. But I only really take my man bag to work. It's got all my work stuff in it. It's got all my important stuff in it. Like my makeup. Like my makeup. Your hairspray. Like my hairspray. And your man doll. And my man doll. Hello. So this, I can't remember why we got these, but when I was at the other place, you and Dan got them, it was me you? and my, my good pal, uh, a lot of our UK viewers um, will know um, uh, my old mate Dan Bancroft. So for some reason, because we always used to wear the, the waistcoats, so obviously B for Ben and he had his doll, which had black hair and a waistcoat, D. He's got, um, got a little stubble bit there. Someone said, why has he got pizza on his chin? It's not, it's stubble because I had a little bit of... A little bit of stubble. But anyway, we had them done for an event or something, and of course I, I kept mine. And actually, he wasn't with me until about probably four or five months ago, and they were having a bit of a clear out, and the other guy who I shamed, shared the dressing room with at um, the other place, Nigel May, who a lot of you will know, found it, gave it to Debbie Robinson, and um, that's why he's ended up back here. Thank you. It's not <laughs> weird, Charlotte, you're just jealous. Thank you. Charlotte, if you, honestly, like Corin, if you had, if you had a Corin, if you had a Corin doll, would yeah. you carry it around in your handbag? I certainly would. Of course you would. would. Of course you would. Anyway, thanks everybody. Good night. Right, Ben doll, go there. Um, right, uh, Kate says I have a gender reveal party to go to tomorrow. I'm going to be breaking out my paper library for a last minute make this afternoon. Thank you for the inspiration, Ben. Welcome. Uh, Crafty Angie says, Oh my, this is the first time I have seen your action figure, Ben. He's not. He's not really, I mean, he's not action man, is he? Let's be honest. Waistcoat man. Ben plays with the baby doll when he's stuck in traffic. Gilmore, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm always concentrating on the road. Kate says, the scurrying is the crafty inspiration elves bringing new ideas, designs and deals to the team at Crafters TV. I like the idea better than a giant spider that Lillian suggested. And Fred says, better than a security blanket and you do not need a permit to carry a doll. Right, um, I wish my hubs had that head of hair, says uh, Creative Cindy. What, this one or that one? Do, right, do, let's, I tell you what, Ben Doll, 
<laughs> Shall we get Corin over to come and have a look at the paper pads? Yes, good idea. Now, the... <laughs> it's got a deep voice, hasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm don't a bit know. worried. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the paper pads are... These are three for two, OK? They so are. we are doing this until midnight, wherever you may be. After midnight, this deal will not be. And I know already hundreds of you have taken us up on this offer. It's a three for two across a whole range of paper pads, from our paper pads to Hunky Dory, to Sharon Callis, to Violet Studio, um, to the paper pads pads that we had for the iris folding to hold and release sheets there's cardstock in there there's vellum there's eight by eights there's 12 by 12s and it's right across the ranges as you're about to see not not kind of paper pads from years ago really brand new paper pads and just before we show you i know corinne's going to dive in as well you can uh, mix and match as we're going to show you here but if you decide for example say you've got the um uh, tis the season or the uh, snowman vintage snowman you want to buy three of the 12 by 12s you can do that as well you certainly you? can yeah. you certainly can i was just looking because i know we we label these paper packs and then people sort of can get a bit lost within the label mm. but just because it's so happened to be at the top secret garden look at the color palette oh with yes sunflower look you've got your lilacs you've got your your peaches you've got you know your minty greens mm. i think it, there might be some like the yellow it might not pick up it's got a bit of yellow here though hasn't it yeah you know i think don't think oh is there a paper pad to, that matches the secret garden no but there are other ones that will work equally as well absolutely so have a right look through and just have a look you know that might be part of your three for two that you decide to do and mix and match it that way yeah you know so if you did if you did that as your bundle so you've got your sunflower paper pad, your secret garden paper pad, and then your luxury cardstock. That's going to work both ways. Yeah. And that would come for free. Yeah, it would. So, I mean, that's brilliant. So you just pay for those and you get that one for free. So have a look. And as, as um, the word, I think, our, uh, our um, Charlotte used, shop cannily. Shop big canny when you're shop shopping. Shop cannily. Um, yeah. Uh, but th th and the other thing is, there's so many ways that you'll do this, right? Because you, you might decide, if you're a big Nitwit fan, for example, we've got the Homebody collection here. Uh, sorry, the Kindly Thoughts collection. The Homebody collection is available on the three for two as well. But you might just decide, well, I love this collection so much. I'm going to go for the top of pad. I'm going to go for my 12 by 12 pad. And I'm going to go for the A4 pearlescent card as well. So you can shop almost by um, collection. Yep. You mentioned earlier on as well, you might want to shop by season and get a little bit of exactly everything. or you know another one where you might mix and match is i think these ones go really well together i think you also your vintage snowman is going to work with your vintage snowman but i think your winter's tail goes really really well with that cardstock pad as well so that might be another one yeah but let's have a look so maybe you want to do vintage butterflies oh i like this one and then obviously your tis the season what would i pick next I think I would go Maybe a bit sunflowers. Of sunflowers. Yeah. I was net tempted to go Secret Garden, but your Secret Garden and your Vintage Butterfly have got a very similar sort of subtle tone. Mm. So let's go for something a bit more wham bam. Thank you. I can see that, you know. <laughs> wham bam, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bit more, you know, I want a bit more oomph. Um, a bit yeah, more oomph. bit of oomph in there. Yeah, but so, you know, maybe that's going to be your three for two, or, or maybe three sunflowers. Yeah, or, uh, we were talking about three for two, uh, you might go six for four, nine for six, twelve for eight. You, there's no stopping you. You can have as many as you want, yeah. can't you? What was 30 for? 30 for 20. 30? Yeah, for 20. 30 for 20. 10 free. 10 free, which we worked out. If you went for the big pads, so if you went for like one of the 12 by 12s, what, they're about 14 99 Yeah, Remember that? So. so that's about £150 pounds worth of Perfect. freebies. Um, so do it, shop it, but do it tonight. Don't wait until no. tomorrow because the deal will not be on. And it's right across, you know, we've got the um, A4, we've got linen cardstock, we've got That's Bethlehem lovely. collection there, which is gorgeous. And vellums, vellums. of course, as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, what, you know, it's going to work so, so well. What you might decide to do is is go for like a 12 by 12 three for two and then maybe go for a vellum three for mm -hmm. two because you want to get the best... I'm doing the company out of money here, but you want to get the best oh, value, yes, don't you? Definitely. If you're buying two 12 by 12 pads, get a third one for free. Mm. Don't put a vellum in that one. Get a vellum selection. Yeah. You know, and do it that way. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Make the, make the most of your bundles. Um, thank you so much. It's do my not, pleasure. Do not miss out on these. Um, we're going to do the launch. We are. I'm going to go over there now and get ready. Um, Mary Reno says, oh, we're talking about the doll still. If, if you make a Corin doll, it has to wear an inside-out dress. Thank you. 
Um, I will never, ever lose that one, will I? No. Gilmore says it's the stubble that's given Ben Dole the deep voice. Uh, and Roseanne Carbon says Ben Dole has stubble so he can do the glitter beard test. Absolutely right, e that is right. And EB says uh, Ben Dole, someone will agree that will agree with everything Ben says. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Crafty Andy says such a great deal on the paper pads, but I have no more room in my craft room for paper. Shove some next door, see if you can uh, get some of their space. Uh, and Deborah says I love the three for two deal. I've just brought an assortment assortment of twelve pads. Fab, you less. Get the deals whilst they're there because, as I say, it's not the kind of deal that we can leave on uh, right across the weekend. In fact, it ends at midnight wherever you are. Now, something else which has proved super duper popular today is our layered edged gatefold die collection. 30 dies you're going to get here in total, and you guys have been loving the concept of this. Uh, $64.95 is the price, or $74.75. If you go for the bundle, you're going to buy uh, all the collections. We're going to give you one of the sets for free. And these create this really amazing uh, gatefold effect, I suppose in their simplest form, um, giving you your matte layer to go over that really cute um, gatefold. And then you've got the matte layers to pop into the center of your card as well. But as you've seen over the course of Wake Up Call, Launch Day, and you're gonna see now as well, there's so many different things that you can do with this collection if you're quick, because 50% of our launch stock has disappeared. This one here is the ellipse frame. So once again, it's the same concept, gonna give you that really cool gate fold um, effect giving you the uh, mats and layers to be able to create uh, with ease with these and again in its simplest form look how gorgeous that's going to be you know maybe just popping a sentiment on top maybe having a focal point of a, I don't know, a butterfly or a flower maybe you use some of your flower forming uh, flowers on here it's entirely up to you but as you've seen over the course of the show you'll be using these in lots of different ways as well this is the one uh, that you guys have loved too i think one of the most popular ones individually and in the twofers it's the stylish mosaic a lot of you saying that you like the idea of using that one as like a almost like an ornament a christmas bauble and then finally is the vintage ticket you go for the bundle it works out that this is the one that you're going to be getting for free as I've said you can go individually which people have done and you can go on a two for 23 pounds a two for 27 dollar deal it's wherever your budget lies really but what I would say if you can stretch to the full collection and you think you love it go for it because if you decide to go on a two for then you do love the two that you get you're going to come back and buy the others and end up paying more money but it's entirely up to you let's have a look at some finished um, samples and some ideas with Corinne such a really craftable kit this isn't it it really is it's absolutely gorgeous so you can be making look at the ones that we've made so far you can make it as a gatefold as sort of as the concept but the great thing is is you've got the perfect mats and layers if you go down by quarter of an inch with your mats and layers they will line up absolutely perfectly as you can see there but then we've got another one and these were lining up until we put the acetate in the middle and then we've now got that lovely curved bow fronted and it stands up absolutely gorgeous mm. on there and you've seen all the paper pads that we've been showing vintage butterfly um this is vintage dragonfly not butterfly i think uh, no it is vintage butterfly it yeah is vintage butterfly yeah it's just i put a dragonfly on it and i've put that one there look with a little shaker in the middle sequins have got so but this time you see we've done it as a reverse gatefold yeah and we've done them out on the outside edge but we've also used the middle ones to create that gorgeous little um uh, shaker element in the middle then we did one where we put it over the edge of the cardstock and we did put some acetate on so that we could have this bit floating but again that could come sideways as well then we did one where we cut it diagonally so we could put that onto there and another different look then on this one we didn't use any of the outside dies we just used the inside ones to cut a little aperture to put our sentiment through so it's a different way and these are a couple that we haven't made today but just to show you how you could have them off center using paper from your paper library or you can <laughs> make an acetate love, card people like love that. that card so you just do the scallop circle coming out of the edges it, it, it's um it's a really different design that one it isn't is. it but very very clever it almost looks like the whole thing is like the floating yeah it's floating lots of you commented on that one earlier on very very clever it's the kind of thing that you can do um which of the dies are you going to use in your demo eclipse frame oh, okay okay so i've started with a piece of cardstock eight and a half inches square and i've just put a little bit of a score line in at four and a half uh, four and a quarter sorry we'll get it in the right way four and a quarter because it's eight and a half i've just marked in 
two and a half um, centimetres or an inch from each side. And I'm just going to line the die. Now, if you're doing it as a, reg a regular gatefold one, you start with the smallest one and go to the bigger one. But we're going to do this as a sort of over the top card. So I've started, as you can see, look, there's the bigger die. And then we're going to use the smaller one in a minute. So I've lined that up on that score line. And then I've lined it up in the centre. And then I'm just going to put some tape. So I'm going to put my tape just there. And then I'm going to put some tape just to hold that where I want it to be, just like that. Now, as I said oh, every time before, I don't use my magnetic shim with these. I haven't, for any of them that I've done while I've been prepping, while I've been doing the shows, just feel that I really don't need it um, for, the, for these di um, dies because yeah. there's enough pressure and it stops. You can... People often say, oh, I get marks from plates and everything. That's because the pressure's so intense. Look at that. I mean, that's not marked my card in any way whatsoever. So just have a think about it. Now, I've got some card from our positive paper from our positive thoughts. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next die and I'm going to centre that up and I'm going to put it right to the very top. And I'm just going to put that one just there. So let's get a piece of tape and I'll pop that straight so i've just measured centered that up just to there and that's going to be my waist when i come to cut so i will have to do a little little trim just to trim it to the edges but that's absolutely fine and then take that one and again still doing it with the three plates instead of four so if i bring this one back in while that's cutting i can then peel this off and peel that off did that take that off so i've now got my card base so that will just fold over very nicely and I've got it over the top there so you can see. Now if you want to, for neatness sake, you can then just put another piece of card on the back. I know some people like to cover up those workings but it's absolutely fine. So let's get our second one and then we can peel that off. Another, as we were saying earlier, another good thing about not having all the plates on is your tape peels off lovely. Yeah. So as you remember, this is obviously not gone right to the edges. So you can use a trimmer or you can, it's nice to have your big scissors because you can just do it in a single snip. So I'm just going from the edge to there. There we go. And that will now fit. Can you see how perfectly that fits on there? Absolutely brilliant. So what I would suggest doing is going around the edges with some ink and I have just gone around the edge with some black ink, just like that. And then that fits perfectly on there. Now, this card is going to be so simple to bring together. It really isn't going to take a lot of doing. So, you know, you can bring it and bring it together. And again, I could see this one. Depending on how you decorated it, it would work beautifully as a Christmas card. You know, it could be a Mother's Day card. Yep. It could... It could be whatever you wanted, just change the papers accordingly. So we can pop that one on there. I just use my um, solvent-based glue. Oops, I remove that. There we go, that's going to go there. Then I've got another strip. I've just flipped the paper over, So and then I've used the opposite side in a strip of white. Again, inking the edges, and I've just got a lovely piece of this green ribbon. I do like this green ribbon. I've had Where this is that from? It's, an, it's just one of mine, oh, I don't think it? it's from any there. collection, but it's a lovely green, it's, I've had some, I do like a nice, good quality green ribbon, so, you know, it works really, really well, and it just works nice colour, so I'm going to turn that around there, and then make sure that's nice and flat, and put that one on just to there, so I can trim that, and then what I often do is another piece of tape, straight across there and then that ribbon isn't going anywhere at all it'll stay nice and attached often it's difficult to lift tape from ribbon so sometimes no it's not going to do it from there let's see if i can oh there it's lifting lifting for once come on there we go just, and i'm going to just put a little bit of glue all the way down that edge and down that edge and then bring back my card and then we can pop that on just there so it's just creating a nice focal point now the other thing i have done if i can find them here it is is i have then used these center dies so these solid dies and we've cut 
the two sort of um, up, um, died out of there. So what I'm going to do, I'll do it this way around. I'm going to stick this one on first, just because I've learned the hard way today that your glue can take a while to dry. Turn that, and that will then, look at that, how it fits perfectly in there. And I've just got that top just creeping over that border. Yeah. And then you can see this is just the back of that cardstock. When you turn it over, you can see. And I've just used the Nitwits um, Bloom with Grace sentiment oh, yes. on there. And again, just by adding in the black ink around the edge. And then the final thing I just want to do, and this is what we call a chocolate box style sort of bow more. Oh, okay. Which is when the, well, it's not pro fully a chocolate box style, but when we bring out the edges, that's more like your chocolate box style bow and that. So no pearls, no gems. You don't need anything like that because you've got beautiful papers and you have got lovely dyes just there. Absolutely stunning. And again, I, I marvel at how quickly you're putting these cards together. Mm. I know there's obviously like, you know, a bit of pre-prep, but it's one of these collections, isn't it? That creates the most stunning cards, but in its simplest form, it can be quite a quick collection yes. to work with, can't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, it really can. It's just so easy and it works every single time because it's take, as long as you just go down by that quarter inch, you've taken all the thought out of it and it just works every single time. Uh, keep the comments coming through. It's lovely to have so many of you with us uh, this Friday. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know what your weekend plans are uh, tomorrow as well. By the way, uh, we are both back for uh, play your crafts right. We've got a craft house and a craft vault for you tomorrow as well, which we're looking forward to. Um, but it's World Card Making Day tomorrow, so I'd be interested to see your pictures for that. If you want to send in pictures tomorrow, let's keep Charlotte busy in the gallery. Uh, not, I mean, she's always very busy, but it'd be, ni it'd be nice to create like loads of galleries of your recent cards and to show all of those to celebrate World Card Making Day tomorrow. But whatever you're up to this weekend, I would love to know whether it's crafty or, you know, you're out and about, uh, do get in touch. Lots of love for that last card coming through. Roseanne saying, very pretty. Christine Mahoney says, very beautiful card. Christine, I, I'm serious question. Have you taken advantage of the three for two or have you... Have you got enough paper? That's what I, I, I genuinely want to know whether you've, you've uh, purchased, Christine. Do let me know um, in the comments. Who's bought this collection, though, also? What a lovely, lovely set it is. You, if you go for the full bundle, you will get all of these. And the vintage ticket that you're seeing here is the item that you will receive for free within the bundle. You've got the scalloped edge in there as well, that scalloped circle. You're also going to receive the one that you've just seen being used there, that gorgeous eclipse. Also in the collection, you've got your deco square. And then lastly is that beautiful Moroccan, I want to say Moroccan trellis, but it's not, stylish mosaic. Uh, 4157 or 4784. Beautiful card coron. The colours are lovely, says Panda Crafts. Lovely card coron, says Crafty Angie and Jessica Stricker. I love the card. Um, you will, of course, as well, get a chance to vote for your favourite card of the show and indeed card of the day a little bit later on. Rewind to yesterday where we had a cartload show. It was like a, a trolley dash, really, because we had an hour of cartload and then we were done. We were off to do that um, second part of the US Warehouse Clearance Show. But in case you missed it, uh, we've just... Uh, popped forward a few of the deals which are still live on the website for you right now which proved really popular uh, and one was this desktop tote which Debbie was showing to you and I was amazed actually because um, Debbie brought hers in and when, when you look at this you think to yourself well it's quite nice it's quite compact are you going to get a ton of stuff in there you can get loads in here Debbie's was like to the point of you know you were just thinking, how have you got all of those items in there? But you've got so much room within the actual main compartment itself. You've got loads of pockets all the way um, around the outside, around the outside. And you've also got a little pocket on the front there with your hook and loop system. So you can keep lots of items nice and safe. It's also really cool for the fact that on the bottom, is a little zipper so if for whatever reason you're not using this or maybe you need to move it around you can actually unzip the bottom take the base out and it folds flat so it packs away really really nicely this deal is great because you're going to get the tote itself in our beautiful company colors and if you've got some of the bigger totes you know like the deluxe tote these all match up quite nicely so it's nice to have the matching set 
Perfect, again, if you don't have a specific craft room and maybe you have to do some crafting in the, in the living room or in the kitchen, wherever it might be, this is a great thing to have on the side to keep everything in its place. And by the way, also a nice little item to have for things like um, your makeup as well, isn't it? To, to keep them all there on the side. But I'm waffling. You're going to get the desktop tote. You're also going to get a selection of your essential tools in here. Like, for example, we're going to give you your acrylic ruler. This one, um, has got your, uh, well, 30 centimetres. You've obviously got your measuring grid on there and you've got your metal edge on there too. So this is absolutely perfect to use in conjunction with things like your craft knives. You're not going to, um, you know, feather the edge of your ruler because you've got that metal edge, which is going to take care of that for you. You're also going to receive our square blending tool. It's a rectangle, uh, but that is going to come to you in this collection along with 10 of the replacement heads. So really good again, if you like to do your inking. You've got four of the tweezers in there. So you've got the flat end tip, your straight point tip, your angle mount tip, and the needle point tip. You're also going to receive two of our pokey tools. Uh, I'm gonna nick Debbie's catchphrase again now. Uh, one to use, one to lose because they do go, don't they? They're the kind of things that you do find that you need to keep buying more because they tend to disappear. And then you're also gonna get some of our snips, which you guys absolutely love. These are the, um, the six inch snips. You've got the um, Japanese stainless steel blades on these. You've also got the beautifully ergonomically designed handles and you've got your non-stick coating on there as well. So it just really helps you to kind of use these in lots of different situations and not get the blades all gunked up. And as we hear from a lot of different people, um, you know, you guys obviously use these within your crafts, whether it be paper craft, whether it be soft craft, um, you use these for I don't know. So I always think of Sarah when I see these scissors because she has her pair, doesn't she, for cutting off the bacon fat, which she keeps in the kitchen. But um, they're a lovely, lovely pair of scissors. And all of that that I've just shown you in that tote, so that price there is absolutely phenomenal. £24, $32, don't miss out. Another great deal that you guys enjoyed last night that we thought we'd just quickly show you is our A3 card. Now the A3 um, white multi-purpose has obviously long since uh, disappeared, but we do have some of our Centura Pearl in the A3. Um, absolutely brilliant, again, if you like to make your bigger cards, if you like to do things like your box making. I sort of looked at this and thought, again, when you think it's 65 sheets, you're actually getting within this collection the hint of gold, that one you're getting for free within the bundle. So you buy the other two, you get that one for free. I actually looked at this and thought, well, it's 65 sheets of A3, um, in my little mind, I thought that, that works out, doesn't it? 130 sheets of A4, mm -hmm. and then look at the price. £19.18 for 130 sheets, or 28.78, which I just think is phenomenal. You've got the Snow White, so that's um, uh, single-sided. You've got the double-sided um, ivory, and you've also got your double-sided fresh white as well. So a great way to be stocking up on the A3 for that price, uh, £19.18 or $28.78 eight if you're a platinum member we're going to have a look at the uh, timeless border collections of course this masterclass all about your edgeables so i will quickly show you uh the boards and then we'll get on to see some cards with um corinne deborah saying i've ordered today nine 12 by 12 paper pads and today's Excellent. launch what and today's launch yeah perfect so nine she's gonna get paper six get three free yep I'm glad you're I was here. just laughing at you when you're working out that you've got 65 A3 sheets and I could see your brain going to work out how many A4 sheets you, you could see. It. You were like, it's 11 minutes past seven on a Friday night. I'm not doing that sort of maths. Day three of four and I've had two warehouse clearances and a cartload. Come on, get the violins out. Oh, thank you. Um, love the three for two deal, says Deborah. Just bought an assortment of 12 pads. Fabulous. So that's 12. Four for free. Four for free. Uh, the Bendol is the Crafters TV elf on the shelf, says Fred171. That is a great idea. Might use that. Um, ben on the shelf. Ben on the elf on the shelf. Ben on the. Ben on the. Ben on the. Ben in the. No. Is ben, that in the ben in the den. Ben in the den. Ben on the hen. Ben in the studio? No, that doesn't work, work, does it? 
Work on it, please. Um, oh, Christy Mahoney says, read the paper pads. I have tons. Um, and what you're doing this weekend, Carletta says, uh, tomorrow there is a football game, so traffic will be a nightmare. Staying home, watching Crafters TV. Best scissors ever, says Roseanne. And Peg Conrad says, tomorrow I will sell my cards at the farmer's market. Well, what better thing to do with your crafting? Eve B says, my Sunday I'll be doing the walk for Alzheimer's to remember my mum. Well, that is a fantastic, fantastic thing to do. Thing. And I hope it goes really, really well for you. Um, right, timeless borders. These are uh, by, Jamie will tell me in a second. I've lost my notes. There is a deal on these. Um, you basically go buy four, well, it's definitely not buy four, get one free, because there's six. Even I can do the maths on that. Is it buy four, get two free? Uh, um, but you're going to get your uh, timeless border dies. So you're going to get your Ditsy Daisy. One, two, three, four, your six. You're also going to get your wildflowers. You're also, oh, so say 40%. You're going to get the dancing dragonflies. You've got the beautiful uh, butterflies. You've got your flourishing foliage. And you've got the uh, rose garden in this collection as well. Um, I think Colin's got some cards that we're going to look at over the I side have. of the studio. Have we got a demo you. on these too? I'm going to do a demo on these as well. There you go. Right. Okay. So these, this is the one we made earlier with the um, gorgeous rose border down the side there. You can see how pretty is that. And then we sort of doubled it up. If you wanted to, you can put two going in the same direction because you've got the butterflies. If I put that there, you can see really really pretty that's the same one that i used earlier and we've just created a little bit of a drop shadow with the black just a hint of the black just to make that pop now i don't know whether this one might be my favorite i really do like this foliage one i think it's so pretty and then adding in those little um paper flowers really works i just think mm. that is a gorgeous gorgeous card again use them on the diagonal oh, why not Works really with the little nice. bee, that's really does, nice. doesn't it? Yeah. really does. Or how about the dragonfly just down the edge? Now, you can have it down the edge. Uh, did we have one where you could have the... Um, so, a bit like down the edge where you've got card behind or down the edge where you've got nothing behind. So, you've got that different looks. And I like this as well. This is a bit of the sort of style we did when we used the Grande Edge Ball, wasn't it? Then you do was the that one you did in show? Well, you did something similar to that, I'm sure, in previously. Yeah, I, I don't know whether that one actually is mine. I can't remember. I mm. lose track of what I've done. But it, there were, when I looked at it, there was definitely something familiar about it. But that is using the um, foiled papers. So that's the one out of the dragonfly. But we've got some in today, haven't we, in the frosty and bright, the ones where the, the foiled papers... Oh, do you like the resist papers? The resist ones. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's, so if people want to know how it looks, you can see in the middle it's it's white or off-white and then you can put your inks on it and it just makes the foil come pop and come to life. But Beautiful. how about like that? I love that mixing and them around. So we've got um, dragonfly, 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 foliage. <laughs> Sounds like a funny game. <laughs> dragonfly, 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 foliage. foliage. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> like duck, duck, goose, yeah. What's dragonfly, this? dragonfly, foliage. What's Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, I don't goose. know that game. Duck, duck, goose. No. So it's a kid's game where they all sit in a circle. Yeah. And so some, someone is on, it's like it. And so you have to walk around and you tap them. So you go duck, 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 duck. And then as soon as you say goose, you ha they have to get up and you have to race back. And it's the first person to get, oh, back, to right. the, get, get back to that space. Oh, I've never done that yeah. one. Well, it's not something you do when you, you know, you're our age, 41. Maybe, maybe... 30 years earlier. <laughs> it wouldn't have got banned, would it? What? To, what because the kids falling over and stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. Duck, duck, I goose. Um, can I just ask, whilst we're we'll getting the, 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 the diet as well, so a few people suggesting names to the, the Ben doll, like Ben on the naughty bench, says Peg. Uh, ben on the bench, says Wilma. I like that. But Mahogi Leone has messaged, and I hold you responsible for this one, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. Ben on the floor, as we heard from last Saturday. Not heard a word from me. Nothing from me. I, 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 will, I will also refute those claims because I was not on the floor last Saturday. I was very well behaved. You were? 
and I was chatting away to Corinne and also her um, partner Colin. I was chatting away to Debbie and Al and all the rest of the team that were there, and I was very well behaved. So whoever said anything me, about me, that is a that is a lie. That is a <laughs> lie. I might have fallen asleep in my armchair when I got home, but I did not fall on the floor at any point. No, anyway. you didn't. Uh -uh. You didn't. No, th oh, th there you go. Thank you. I know someone who d does fall on floors at parties, but that is a story for another day. <laughs> um, Corin, Ben at the bar. Jamie's just said. <laughs> right. Sorry. Okay. Right. We're going to mix two together. So we're going to use now. We're going to use. Dancing Dragonflies, because I think this one's really pretty, along with Ditsy Daisies. Now, I was looking at this and I needed quite a bit of card. And yes, you can sometimes get A3, but I thought, how can we do this just if we've only got A4? So if you look at this, this is 11 and 3 quarters, which is basically your A4. And I've got it by 7 and a quarter wide. So I've just trimmed down my A4 and I've put a little bit of a score line in at one and three quarters so what i've got left is if i've got 11 and three quarters i've scored at one and three quarters that means i've got 10 inches up here so i found the five inch mark and i'm just going to pop my die in the middle now just so you can see this it cuts it cuts just what about quarter of an inch up from the bottom can you see those bits so what i'm going to do is i'm going to line those lines up with the center not to the bottom of my die uh -huh. do you see where i'm coming from because that's the, like the, the the cut line now remember with an edge ball you've got one side that cuts one side that doesn't so i'm putting the non-cut side down Ooh, let's get that in the middle and then my cut side to the top just there and then we can put tape on and tape on there so let's get all of our plates back together so th this will still fit on my mat. We can put one, two, and then three. Kim Wars just said, um, Corin, you guys have to play Dragonfly, Dragonfly, Butterfly at the office. It's our version of Duck, Duck, Goose. All right, OK. Yeah. Uh, Fred says, uh, I played Duck, Duck, Goose until I was 57. I think that's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Why not? Uh, and Mahogany Leone says, allegedly, Heading that way, okay, I'll behave now. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, all right. You're winding me up, I'm winding you up. You can say what you want within <laughs> reason. But I will, I will stand here and refute any claims of me falling over on the floor on Saturday. Maybe the weekend before, but not this Saturday, just gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, because I put that across my cardstock, it's not all quite cut. So what I'm doing is I'm going to grab my metal shim I'm going to pop that in and then I'm going to run it through a second time. If you sort of went up and down the plate, you find that sometimes it cuts. Could you see it was just in the middle? It hadn't quite cut. So that's why we have, that's why we give you your metal shim so that you can use it. We often don't put it in to begin with. And then if we still need a little bit of extra pressure, we go. So what's happening there is your metal is cutting against metal and then you're getting um, the extra pressure. Uh, there we go. And you can see now, look, absolutely. That's then just cut all the way. I just don't want to catch the tape. There's a lot of pressure, so I'm just peeling the tape very carefully. And then that's on there. Now, what you want to do then is, I'll poke out all the bits in a minute, is get your scoreboard, and I'm going to line those two. Oh, I'm just going to come down a little bit where I've just missed slightly. So we can do that. And then I'm going to get my score tool and then score to there and to there and then fold it oops over like that then you just need to poke out all of the bits just like that look at that they just all just pop out but can you see so what i've got now so far is i've got a tent fold card yeah. with a little bit of a lip on the front and that's because i'm going to add on to there i'm going to add an extra little stepper just like that. We'll do that bit in a minute. So what I want to do then is I'm going to get another piece of cardstock. Let me just double check where I'm Yeah, coming down there. What I want to do then is I'm going to get my Ditsy Daisies, which is really lovely. And if, if you're thinking, I don't know about having all of these, the Ditsy Daisies that I'm about to use now is in our Learn Edibles collection. So we've got a smaller... Um, sort of mix and match edge balls collection and this one that I'm using now Ditsy is daisies. in there yes yeah so we can then cut that off there there we go and then we'll just have to is that straight I think so 
There we go. We'll have a look at that and do that in a minute. Now, I'll just show you. If I then put this one horizontally, vertically, vertically, get it the right way around, on my mat and put that through, then I bet it will cut first time. We'll have a go. We'll have a go. So what you want to do now is with these... I'll get all those bits popped out, but I've got one I've already done. I'm just going to go a little bit of inking. Let's just grab this one. There we go. And that, you see, look at that. Because it went vertically, I didn't need to put the metal shim oh, in. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Just makes, it's, most die cutting machines are the same. You'll just find that vertically it'll cut quicker then horizontally. Just to and say thank you to everyone who's sending in the pictures of their cards. Uh, Panda Crafts says, I just sent a picture of my daughter's birthday cards that I've made. She's 14 today. Happy birthday, oh, happy Faith. Birthday. Happy birthday from all of us, Faith. Um, and for holidays designs, hello, it says, um, create, uh, create cards and edgeables, my two go-to card designs. I love them. And Panda Crafts also says, I've also sent in a picture of my poppy cards I've started to make for the British Legion poppy appeal. Oh, how lovely. It's World Card Making Day tomorrow. So if you want to send in your cards in the meantime, actually, and then it will give us an opportunity in the morning then to maybe um, build some little galleries. Because that would be nice tomorrow, wouldn't it? In the it shows? would. It would be lovely. I think to, that would be To show really... lots of cards. So oh, do we know what our play your crafts? No, um, I don't know. I, I haven't, as I said to you, I've not done play your crafts right since April the 23rd. So what is the game tomorrow? <laughs> They're brilliant. The guys in the gallery are just like, I uh, don't know. Oh. Can we find out? Right. Oh. oh. Okay. We need to find out. Could be interesting. Okay, so once I've poked all those bits out, I have now got some coloured bits on the front that's going to go there and there. Can you see? Just by adding that little pop of colour. Now, all I've done at home just to finish these off is I've just gone in with some just some liquid gems and um, liquid pearls and I actually put that on with a brush just over the body of a couple of those butterflies and then in the center of the flowers there so just to make this more into a stepper I put some red liner on there and we're just going to pop that on to the front and we can pop that on so I've just heard the game tomorrow it's guess the Sara signature range tomorrow. Oh dear. How, what, what, what is that then? A picture of the paper or the dies or? Wow. Wowzers, that is gonna wowzers. be, uh, that is gonna be tough. I struggle with these games. Well, I do because it's hard, when you see things out of situ, do you ever get that with people as well? Like when you see someone out of their little box, if you know what I mean, and you see them out and about and then they say yes. hello and you don't know where you know them from but if you were to see them in their in the right place in the right place you'd know them straight away yeah it's like that with the sarah signatures i think you're going to win tomorrow do you think mm. oh i don't know there you go how about like that oops i caught, caught my dragonfly up there how about so you can see yeah just like that. now you can mix and match as many of these around as you want and then all we're going to do is we're going to add on some um elements now i have a feeling that the Baby Pink um, Centura Pearl is in a bundle that we've got today. Uh, is it in the Learn Edgeables collection? No, uh, no the, it, the Learn Edgeables has got Baby Pink and um, Cherry. The, ah. There's another Centura Pearl bundle which has got Baby Pink. It's, it's the one with the mink in it. We haven't shown it. But ah, it's got right. Baby Pink, Baby Blue, Mink, Old Gold. Well, we can have a look at it potentially, but it's another bundle. I think it's like a nut. Is it a 100-piece collection? Yeah. Right. I knew it was on it was on my list, otherwise I wouldn't have prepped with it. So I knew that it would be on for some reason. So just put that on there for some ribbon. Put my ribbon around the middle. So I'm just using my dragonfly papers because I really, really like those and I thought it went well with the dragonfly. But if you've been buying some of the papers from today, maybe you could turn this into um, butterflies this butterfly dies or you could have it as flowers it's yep. entirely up to you you know you could use um the secret garden or any of those just like that but look at that so we can see that really oops just a minute starting to pop now there we go and again if you wanted to you could put another piece of card across the back 
to cover that up. I'm not going to do a great deal more to this. I'm just going to pop a sentiment on just here. So I've got my sentiment. Creative Cindy just says, have you ever had your plates fall? Full? Fall, as in like out of the back of your machine. Have oh, you ever yes. Got, like caught them in time? Yes. Ah. Yeah, I've done that plenty of times. I usually try to be quite careful and, and be around to catch them. Yeah. Oh, we're always doing it. Um, and Panda Crafts, and we just said happy birthday to her daughter, Faith, and apparently Faith has gone a little bit red sat here. Uh, she says thanks. We didn't mean to embarrass you. No, never. But, That's um, the last thing we want to We genuinely hope you have a lovely day. Um, we, we won't mention it again. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to put a bow on and there. I've just put a sentiment on. And that is all I would do because you've got those gorgeous papers. You've got the gorgeous um, die. But how about that? It, by putting, Can you see how putting that darker mm. paper behind really makes it pop, doesn't it? What was the ink that you used again, um, Creative Cindy wants to know, on the edge? Uh, Water reactive pink tulip. Amazing. There you go. It's such a lovely card. God, there have been some fantastic demos today, haven't there? I think you're going to you. struggle to pick which is your favourite from this show and then indeed across the day as well. If you've missed um, any of the shows today, obviously you'll get to vote on the demo of the day probably in around about 20 minutes or so. Can't believe we've only got half an hour left of the day. Uh, quick rattle through the timeless borders then because we've got uh, plenty to do. The Ditsy Daisy is a is a, um, a die that you're going to get in the next collection I'm about to show you, but you've got that one there. Then um, alongside that, you're also going to receive the wildflowers. You've got that beautiful dragonfly, which is called the, I think it's called, yeah, dancing dragonflies. Dancing, 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 yeah. Then you've got your butterflies. You've also got the flour flourishing foliage, and then your rose garden as well, £22.40 or $28 for that collection. If you are liking the idea of vegetables, but you are perhaps thinking, well, I'll have a little bit of a go. I'd like to learn edibles first. Well, funnily enough, we've got the Learn Edibles collection right here. So you take pen, Centura Pearl, ink pads, and much more. And I'll show you what you get. Your Ditsy Daisy is the um, dye that you're gonna get. And then you get all the kit that you'll need. So your low tack tape, in case you want to pop that and uh, hold that in place when you're running it through your machine. You're also going to get, forgot about this one, how could I forget? Uh, this beautiful um, Edgeables die, congratulations. So not only going to cut you a beautiful border, but also going to cut congratulations into your cardstock as well. You're going to receive a, uh, a tape pen, so um, 72 feet of our glue tape. These, again, are so, so popular. And the fact that we're just chucking them into pretty much uh, every bundle at the moment, I think, is uh, a bit bonkers because they do tend to disappear. But a great opportunity to pick those up. Alongside two pokey tools, again, chances are those are going to come into their own with a collection like this. Then we're going to give you the opportunity to do a bit of blending on your edibles as well. So you've got your round blending tool, and then we're giving you two colours to go with it. So you've got your baby blue in the water reactive, and you've also got that damson wine included too. So two colours there. And then the cardstock that you're going to get is the Centura Pearl. Yes, 10 sheets of the baby blue, and then also 10 sheets of that cherry included too. So £51, $75. £24 or $32 if your platinum is decent. It's a starter bundle. We want to kind of get you into using these dies, and we think the best way to do it is to give you a couple of them and then give you everything that you need to be able to use them in the best possible way. Um, the glue pens we've also got for you on the show. These are on a three for two, don't forget. Not the same three for two that we've got on the paper pads. You can't mix the glues into the papers, uh, but you can mix and match these. So you've got your three pack there, which brings you your three different size nibs. So you've got your four mil chisel nib, uh, your 0.7 mil ballpoint nib, and then you've got your three mil uh, bullet nib there as well. So this um, dispenses the blue glue, which dries clear for you. So perfect for your intricate sticks. Um, nice as well because you could potentially like write with these, couldn't you? Can you? And then write with these, sprinkle some can... glitter, some um, they gilding flakes. They look lovely with your gilding flakes. I was just about to say, mm. gilding flakes work brilliantly with these. So yeah, you can create so much with these. If you just want to go for the ballpoint, these I think we launched last week or the week before. Five of the ballpoint. Um, glue blue blue glue pens uh, so you point seven mil ballpoint nib five times over there and you can mix and match those so you can go three for two on those three for two on those or mix and match those up as well seven pounds 99 or ten dollars 36 is the deal on those on a three for two and where are we these or what these these ones yeah yeah yes 
Um, just wanted to quickly show you the collection that Col uh, Colin, Corin's been referring to. Thank you. I spent too much time with Colin last weekend whilst I was picking myself up off the floor. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, 100 sheets of this Centura Pearl here. So these are the colours. That old gold, I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I've seen old gold. They're not in the Centura Pearl. I've seen the green gold, not old gold. That's gorgeous, isn't it, that colour? You've got 10 sheets of the old gold, 10 sheets of the black, 10 sheets of the... <coughs> 10 sheets of the baby pink. 10 sheets of the mink, which um, Corin was mentioning earlier on. 10 sheets of your royal blue. 10 sheets of your mint. Is that a little minty on your screen? It looks a bit goldy on mine. Mint, but it is it different. It does look mint in real life. Yeah, it does. Minty fresh. 10 sheets of your lilac. 10 sheets of your red. And 10 sheets of, should be baby blue. It is. 10 sheets of baby blue. Hun That's amazing. I've just seen the price. 100 sheets of $26.40. Sorry, £26.40 or $46.40. Super value for money. 100 sheets right there. And before we have a quick break as well, let's just recap on. And I'll do this fairly swiftly because I know um, you do want to check out your baskets. The three for two on paper pads. This must end at midnight. Sound like an advert. This must end midnight tonight. Um, wherever you are, this three for two deal will be coming off. It's across 12 by 12 paper pads, eight by eight pads. We've got vellum pads. We have got the little tiny pads that you use for your iris folding. We've got luxury cardstock in the A4. We've got Hunky Dory. We've got Sharon Callis. We've got Violet Studio. We have got uh, Cyrus Signature. I mean, there's absolutely loads. And just to give you a bit of a flavor as to what is in the three for two. Here's some of the items. Uh, the vellum pack from the Sunflower collection. We've got the luxury card collection from the Bethlehem set. Uh, the linen card from the Sunflower collection. We've got the pearlescent card from the Nitwit uh, Kindly Thoughts. All of the Nitwit Kindly Thoughts is there because you've got the paper pad, you've got that, um, um, I, I love these, the topper pads that are just jam packed full of craftability. You've got the beautiful mixed luxury card stock from the vintage snowman alongside that you've also got the vintage snowman in the 12 by 12 all those double-sided of course don't forget as is the winter's tail these are recent launches that we're just going at go on have three for two on them no problem at all whack them in your basket uh, you've got the frosty and bright luxury card collection in there too we've also got your luxury four card pad from the frosty and bright collection winter solstice is in there you've also got the nitwit vellum eight by eight vellum you've got the winter sparkle luxury card stock can you understand why these have been flying out the door today and continue to do so 12 by 12 in the sunflower collection 12 by 12 in the frosty and bright 12 by 12 in the vintage butterflies 12 by 12 in the secret garden 12 by 12 in the country lane and if you decide do you know what you want to go bang 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 you can do you can mix and match these any which way you choose but you don't have to go for three different items if you decide to yourself i want three of the vintage butterflies knock yourself out go three for two go six for four go nine for six I, just keep going and going and going. But if you're going to do it, make sure you do it before midnight tonight, wherever you are, because if you come back after that point, you will still be able to get the majority of these paper pads. I know a few of them are sold out when we looked on the web earlier on, but uh, the deal will not be on tomorrow. It's the kind of deal that normally crops up on special occasions like birthdays and anniversaries to get it on a random Friday at the end of September. I don't know, but I don't ask. I just bring you the deals. Please do not miss out. We are going to take a short little break to give you the opportunity to check out those baskets. When we come back, we'll probably squeeze in another little demo. We'll probably do some demos of the days, demos of the shows and all that kind of stuff. And we'll probably have a bit more of the hashtag bants. But we'll come back to you in a few moments time after this short break. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! 
<laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. Massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Miriam says, this is the first time, welcome back by the way, this is the first time that I've seen the ballpoint glue pens. Yeah, I think the five glue pen set we probably launched, I lose track of time, it was certainly in the last couple of three weeks, couple of three weeks um, ago, so yeah, they, they are fairly new. Uh, Gwen's back, the Riddler, Gwen Terry, aloha everyone, I uh, hope all is well. I haven't watched Crafters TV in a long while. Well, Gwen, we are glad that you are back, it's so lovely to have you here. Um, too busy filling orders for the holidays, well, Gwen, Welcome back. It's lovely to have you back with us again. Uh, Crafty Angie says the old gold is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? I've not, I've not seen that before, actually. Um, and lots of you just commenting on how much you've enjoyed the, um, the cards today. And actually talking about cards, I think we're going to get the vote going on the demo of the show right now. And then we'll squeeze in another demo, demo of the day. And then we will be pretty much done for your Friday. So let's recap in case you have just joined us like uh, the lovely Gwen. Let's see what uh, Corin has made so you can get voting. Great. We did our first one with our Grande edge balls. So we did a little bit of paper piecing and we split the die from the sort of negative and created that lovely um, floating element. So it's on some acetate, so that looks gorgeous there. Then we've used our um, new dies that have launched so we've used those lovely gatefold ones and we did it a little bit different this time having it over the top of the card so you can see that there and then finally we have just done whoops one with our timeless borders and that's going to pop just there so you've got your dragon plant at the top and then your ditzy daisy in the middle and that will then just sit as you can see like that as a gorgeous stepper card if i actually stand it right there we go so we can pop that like that. Oops, sorry, it's falling down on my glass <laughs> mat. So those are your three. One, two, or three. Three, two, and one. I would not like to have to pick uh, any of those could win demo of the show and any of those could potentially win demo of the day. So have fun with that, everybody. You've got about five minutes to get your vote in. Uh, Superstar Susie on the social will count up those votes and then we'll do the demo of the day. Right, let's get back to the brand new collection, the Layered Edge Gatefold die set. Over half of the stock has gone here and let's just dive straight back in and see the final demo on this collection. 41.57, 47.84 is your platinum price for these. Um, what you're going to finish up with tonight, Right, Corinne? now I've got two card blanks here, six by six card blanks, two is exactly the same, and I've scored at the three inch point down the centre, and I'm just going to fold this back. Remember I was saying earlier, there hasn't been a, um, a demo really 
that I've not used, when I've been using these, that I've not used my scoreboard. Now, we've got our sort of what I call our split um, dies. So these are going to create the um, gatefold, and we're going to do it back to the traditional way. So I'm going to go in for the smaller one of those, and I'm going to pop it just on here. Let me just get my mat. I'm going to do it straight onto my mat. So I'm going to open it out because I don't want it to go through, but I'm still getting this, this piece, this piece here, this piece here <laughs> folded over. Yep. And I'm going to pop this on and I'm going to make sure that this just butts up to there, but doesn't cut into it. Let me make sure that's centered. It looks like it is. And then I'm going to put my tape on here. And then I'm just going to make sure that tape is off the that die piece is just off the edge of my cardstock and I'm going to run that through I'm going to try running it through see how it goes through the two layers again without my magnetic shim it might it's a bit of a funny one because I've got extra pressure because I've got the extra cardstock but do I actually need the magnetic shim to push it through the two layers we'll see I'm not sure which way this is going to go every machine is different what I could have done with this at home is slightly different to what I could do here let's have a quick look on here oh I think I'm going to get that out because look at that I can see yes look no problem mm. there we go so it's just worth turning that over before you start to try and lift and because I had that off to the edge look at that so I've now created an aperture oh brilliant but that's not what I wanted oh I want it like that but, but it's, 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 it's still clever app. it's yeah. perfect aperture so let me just show you if you are then because that was a smaller one you know the dies that go in the centre, that would be the perfect size look if you wanted to create an aperture, look, for that like that, Yeah. if that's what you wanted. Anyway, Great. Now, I need two of those, so I've got another one, I've already done, I was gonna, I've got one there to cut, but I'm going to pop those, so I'm going to have them, so it's a double gatefold, is that what you call it, so it folds back, yeah. get, fold back gatefold, whatever you call it. So let's put that on with some glue. So we can pop that on. So this will be lovely and strong because I'm going to use my silicon glue and I've got double thickness on the back of my card. So this card is going to be lovely and strong. So we can pop one inside the other. It's very neat. And if you line it up right, no one would, can actually see really that it's two cards put together. But you've just got all of that strength. Just put that on there. And then in the middle of there, I am just going to pop a piece of cardstock. So this oh, is wow. from the, so I was thinking your garden party. It's from the 6 by 6 paper pad. And we've gone around the edge with the Fuchsia Water Reactive Ink. Good job that wasn't the question on tomorrow's Play Your Crafts Right, because I wouldn't have got it right. No. What is it again? Garden party. Garden party. Garden I hope party. that you and I actually managed to score some points tomorrow because it would be funny if it was like a nil-nil draw, wouldn't it? Vintage Snowman, Frosty and Bright, <laughs> Bethlehem's not a Sarah Sig, is it? Um, Vintage Butterfly. Uh, is Sunflower Sarah Sunflower Signature? Sarah Signature, I think, yeah. Yeah, I can do Vintage Butterfly and... Oh, is that Nature's Garden? Which? I think the Sunflower Collection. Oh, it might be Nature's Garden. Yeah, it's Nature's Garden. It's not a, it's not a size no. signature. What about dan Dancing Dragonflies? Um, yeah, and I'm gonna go Vintage and, Butterfly. I'm going to go over and swat up. I'm so you competitive. You dare. You dare. That's not fair. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? Just accidentally hide some of these paper pads <laughs> under the counter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I just said, if you give me 50 quid, I'll give you the answers. Can we give her 25 each? Yeah. <laughs> Make us look really, yeah. Really good. Really we, good, yeah. Right, now I've got two pieces, again, of the, um, the same cardstock, because you see it's got the same sort of straight line in there. And I'm actually going to pop these together, just to make life a little bit easier for myself. So if you remember, we used the smaller die on there. We're now going to use the larger die, and I'm just going to line that up making sure that stays nice and straight line that up there now as long as you've gone we were saying earlier as long as you've gone down by quarter of an inch increments on your cardstock so that was six inches by three inches so this needs to be five and three quarters in length by two and three quarters in width then it'll be absolutely fine because i've got two layers i'm just going to put a little piece of tape at the top there a little piece of tape there oh i'll do one here there we go and then we can put one just there and it'll hold it. And what we're going to do is go back still with the three layers, uh, three plates rather, and that will go straight through. I've got the Ooh, result got of the, the demo of the show. Go on then. Uh, 
I've lost it now. Ah, oh, one. One. Perfect. So I come and grab it. Grande edibles. Oh, I knew that one would do it. There you go. That Thank was you, gorge. Ben. Welcome. Right, so we can then lift this off from here. Tape comes off lovely. And then I've got two of these, let me show you, that are going to fit perfectly round there. Nice. Now, what, we've, what I've done is, just to make it a little bit quicker, what I've done is I've cut it four times and then using the Floral Delight Rambling Rose Embossing Folder, we've just embossed those and gone over with some gilding um, wax just to make that look even prettier and then those can go on here so I'm going to stick all four of these on while you um, get demo of the day yes you want. We're, I will. Not, we're on fire today it's only uh, just gone quarter two yeah we'd almost get out early do you reckon uh, no you shouldn't uh, have said that out loud My, I may I make it uh, seven fifty two by my watch, and we we always go on my watch, don't we? Right, we do. team? Yep. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> the choice for your demo of the day. So this is Corinne's beautiful card from a Wake Up Call this morning. How stunning is that? Numero uno using this collection. Number two also using this collection in a slightly different way from um, launch day. So that's two. And then number three, I mean, again, I wouldn't like to pick the winner here at all. That is three, the one that you've just chosen. Charlotte likes one. I quite like... Mm, you've I, been keen on three, I would mm, say. Three, I like. One's, I think it's one or three for me. But that's three. That's two. That's one. Get voting. I'll give you five minutes to get your vote in. Uh, happy voting, everybody. OK, right. So... Look at this. So, I mean, this is like a lovely trifold card. Now, I could have anything hanging from these apertures if I wanted to. But, you know, how about like this? Absolutely perfect. They then just fold back like that. So, that looks lovely. Now, the thing we've done next is using the centre dies. So, the two sort of what I call the solid dies. We've cut one at both of them out of white. We've embossed this one again with the gilding wax and just gone round the edges of this one here so you know just go in with all of your techniques that I'm sure you're um, using I've never seen crafters companion foam pads this size before these are brilliant super size yeah I've never seen them before I just saw them on the side and thought I'm going to use those so put this in place and then that goes there and then we can take this one off creative Cindy likes your nails thank you they're new uh, I always have this, the ombre pink, uh. colour 67 at my place. I just go in and I go, si I just say, um, infill 67, please. Infill 67? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, they just redo them. Don't take them off. They just redo them and it's colour 67. When you say don't take them off, what they... They just, just do it on top. Ah. Oh. You, do, you don't, don't, don't try, yeah, yeah, my, my husband just has learned not to ask these questions. No, my Laura doesn't have it, she doesn't get her nails done, so it's completely... Is it a new one? It's, an, it's alien to me, I don't understand whether you go in and have them painted or whether you get one stuck on, I don't... No, they're not stuck on, it's my nails. Oh, so why, when do you go and get stuck on ones then? When would one get stuck on ones? When you don't have nails, very long nails, yeah, if you want them longer or you don't have oh. very long nails but, but But don't they fall off? No, if they're stuck on properly. Oh. They do, you know. How long do they, what, do they stay on forever? They'd grow out, wouldn't they? And then so what do you do? It's on, it'll just grow out. And then you have to get them taken off and then stuck back on again? Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh, you get the gap filled in, apparently. Yes, that's what I have, infills. They oh. fill in the gap. So for someone who bites their nails, if you go to the nail shop, or whatever it's called, yeah. and get one stuck on, surely that's a good way to stop you yeah. from biting your nails? Yeah. Oh, sometimes it then damages your nails underneath, Charlotte's saying. This ring that I've just started wearing on here used to fit on a different finger. And that was a ring my mum bought me when I was about four, 13, when I agreed to stop biting my nails. Oh, really? I found it the other day. Do you remember the, um, I did probably still have it now. I mean, I um, used to be terrible for biting my nails when I was little, my sister as well. And they used to get that stuff. Oh, yes. That you could like stop, mum, yes. paint it on your nails. It used to taste disgusting. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. stuck. I can't yes. remember what it was called. They paint it on your nails. Mm. 
but I used to bite my nails really bad. So I don't know. I don't remember. I don't actually remember biting them, but I did. Um, yeah. So mm. can't imagine it now. Can't imagine anything worse. Right. So these are just. That was your from... nail news on Crafters TV, <laughs> and now you're up to date. <laughs> yep. Gemini and fabulous florals. There we go. We can pop that in there. There we go. And then look at these from the um, simple sprig dies, and then we can pop. Put that in there, and then that's just going to pop just under there. Oh, let me just put that. There we go. Let's put that into there. There we go. Sorry, it just needs to pop into there. Catch that glue. Pop that under. And the last little bit I'm going to do, then we're finished, is a couple of little gems. One, Two. and we can just pop these in onto here. Do you know what? I think if you put this in the vote, this might have won. Do you think? Yeah, well, I think I, I think it's my favourite. How often does that happen when we don't put a card in the vote and it ends up being amazing? There we go. So this is, do we call it a double fold back gate fold? Maybe. Well, it's really pretty, really pretty colours, isn't it? There we go. Uh, I'm telling you that. Who, who would have who would have voted for that one if that had been in the vote? I bet you I bet you a lot would have done. That's phenomenal. Um, as it turns out, though, it wasn't in there. We do have the result for the demo of the day. It wasn't that one. Mm. One. Thought it might have one. been one. My favourite. Yeah, mine are two, I think. Um, well done. It's a lovely card. Some lovely makes right throughout the day today, to be fair. I mean, not that you you always do great makes, but today I think you've smashed it out of the Crafty Park. Thank um, you. That one's going to go up on the Crafty Walk of Fame. You might vote for that on Sunday when Joe is back with the vote for the demo of the week. The layered edge dies are flying out the door. Um, we've also got some other edibles on the show for you as well, which we thought we, we didn't get round to doing demos with, but we thought we might just show you. We are going to have a look first at your slimline curved edibles. These ones, again, that have proved really, really popular. 64.95 or 74.75 comes down to actually £20.78 or $23.92. Uh, you buy two, you get three free within this collection. I like that when you save you spend less than you say you save more than you spend that's it you save more than yeah. you spend that's the saving what I'm to say. saving 38.97 or 44.85 even if you are just a you know first time buyer if you are by the way a first time customer don't pay the price on screen join club inspire for free on our website and then you'll get that price at the bottom of the screen that one there as your first uh, purchase because you get 20 percent off but you're going to get all of these. So you've got from our family to yours. These are really nice because you get that beautiful detail in the actual edge. You've got that slimline curved design. And then you've also got the sentiment cut into the cardstock as well. And again, these are just screaming to be paper pieced. From our family to yours. And then it's your special day. And then uh, you're also going to get, I mean, really, these are the three free ones, aren't they? Sending all my love with heartfelt sympathy. Again, hopefully you won't have to use that too much, but it's good to have in the crafty stash. And then you've got thank you so very much. All five of those pay for two, and you get the whole bundle. £20.78 or $23.92 is that set. And then we've also got the Everyday Word Edibles. And again, these are phenomenal because they obviously um, cut part of the sentiment into your cardstock, and then part of the sentiment will hang um, over the top um, of your cardstock. Or indeed, again, you know what, if you just wanted to snip these out completely, you could then obviously place that uh, elsewhere on your card if you wanted to do it that way. Plenty of um, ability to actually pop the wings out on this one as well because you've got those beautiful butterflies buy two get four free here so this should be 78 pounds 90 dollars 20 pounds 78 if you're platinum 23 dollars 92 if you're shopping in the us and you are a platinum member so you've got a special friend you've got on your special day okay look at all the detail you get one pass through is going to create you that amazing scene with that gorgeous sentiment then these four you get for free congrats you did it with all my love just for you. And happy birthday. 
20, 78 or 23, 92. Thank you for all the comments coming through. A lot of you just saying that last card, which didn't obviously make the vote because we, you know, we, we, we sort of did it early, uh, saying that you would have voted for it. Lillian says it was my favourite. Uh, I love that pretty and clever, says for holidays designs. Uh, Roseanne Carbone says a very informative show today from card crafting to nail care. That's what we're here for. And Gilmore says, OK, Ben and his Ben doll are going to get their nails done in the next episode. Yes, on the next nail update. Um, Lynn says, gorgeous card. That should have been demo of the day. Told you. Awesome makes, Corinne, says Gilmore. Thank you. Thank you also to Ben, Susie, team, social, crafters, and the um, CC team. And Roseanne says, thank you, Corinne. Sir Ben, thank you. I like this Sir Ben malarkey. Maybe one day. Uh, Superstar Susie and the awesome crafters team for an entertaining and very informative show. We have loved being with you. Before I disappear, let me just remind you. What's that, Bendel? Oh, yeah. The three for two deal on the papers. Uh, that disappears at midnight, wherever you may be. Uh, End of summer sale continues till uh, midnight on the 2nd of October. So please, you head to the website and keep shopping for those deals. Corinne, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I'll see Go you in the morning. Go swat up on your, on your Sarah signatures. Yeah, but we're Don't friends now, but tomorrow we'll be bitter enemies. As it's Facebook versus YouTube for the Play Your Crafts Right World Cup. Um, it's not that exciting, is it? But we'll, it'll be fun. Play Your Crafts Right tomorrow. We've also got uh, a craft vault with some of the best deals from Summer Sale and we've got Craft House as well. Thank you to Corinne. Thank you also to Jake. Thank you to John. Thank you to Charlotte. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to Superstar Susie on the socials. Thank you to Taylor Grace. I think Kaylee was with us today as well. Uh, and a massive thank you to you for watching as always. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, whatever you're up to, and make sure you're back here with us tomorrow for another fun packed day on Crafters TB. Uh, TB? TB? Oh dear. So end the day as you started. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.